hello guys welcome back to my channel today i want to show you a groundnut plant so there are some people out there maybe you are there you do not know uh, a groundnut plant so i want to show you a groundnut plant and the other thing is i want to show you how to make snacks from groundnuts mixed with corn so let's do it so this is my plant this is my groundnut plant so as you can see these are flowers the yellow things these ones this yellow thing it's a flower and this yellow thing it's a flower so it's flowering and um what happens with a groundnut plant is the roots are the ones that form the nuts so let me show you let me try to look for the root this is the root let me uproot it yes this is what i meant as you can see it's still small so it's a root so the root forms the nut so this white thing that you see is the shell so inside there is a nut which is being formed let me try to look for another root maybe i can find a bigger nut maybe i can find wow <laughs> uh, yeah this is what i am saying yes this is it this one is bigger and um it is growing it grows and it will form nuts inside and it will become stronger and stronger so right now it's not strong but it will get stronger stronger and stronger so this is it let me put them back wow 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 yes 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 <laughs> this is the other one the bigger one This one is a big one. It's, it's stronger than these ones. So this is it. Let me put them back like this. This. So now I'm sure you know what happens with a groundnut plant. So it's a green plant like this. So now I'm getting my corn. We call it mandire in my language. This is my corn. So now I'm ready to toast my snack, uh, ground nuts mixed with corn. So I want to decob my uh, corn from the corn cob so i'm taking out the seeds from the cob so i'm using this cob so you do this this is how you do it this is how we do it in my country or you can even use your hands like this so we call it tsokonyora like this this it is good for everyone to take groundnuts if you are not allergic to groundnuts you can take groundnuts so uh, stay with me as I am showing you how to prepare this snake so you need to do this a bit 
this is what we do. What, I don't know what you call it, but we call it pepeta. I want to separate the shaft from my cone. So this is how I do it. We call it pepeta in my country. Using Rosero, we call this Rosero. So I'm done now with separating my cone from the shaft. And now I want to select my ground nuts. So this is it. Select your ground nuts. Ground nuts can boost the power of your memory. They contain vitamin B3. So vitamin B3 can improve the, your, the brain function and improve the power of your memory. You can reduce the risk of heart diseases by only taking the ground nuts. If you are breastfeeding, you can increase the milk supply for the baby. So ground nuts have many benefits and the other thing is ground nuts can help to control or to lower cholesterol levels by reducing bad cholesterol and increase the good cholesterol levels So select so now I'm done selecting my nuts This is it. My corn, my nuts. So now I'm placing my pan on the stove. Place your pan on the stove. Turn on your stove like this. And the first thing that you need to do is you need to start with your corn. Put your corn first because corn take much time, longer time to toast than ground nuts. Mm. <laughs> ground nuts take a very short time to toast. So this is why I am saying you need to start with your corn. Put your corn first in the pan like this. This is a very good snack, guys. Trust me, it's a very good snack. 
So, this is my stick, my cooking stick. I'm using a cob. This is what we do in my country, in Zimbabwe. We use the cob to toast like this. So, my corn is starting to change color, turning into brown. So, it's starting to turn into brown. So now, add your... Now add your, your nuts into the pan like this. Like this, this is it. So, mix them like this. I love, love this snack. Zimbabwe, we call this snake Maputi. This is the name that we give Mandira. this type of snake. And uh, you can prepare this snake uh, without groundnuts, or you can just do groundnuts, uh, especially those who are breastfeeding. Mostly they just toast uh, groundnuts and they add salt or oh, they drink water all day and the milk supply will increase like never before <laughs> <laughs> if you do not eat groundnuts please just use corn after toasting your corn add salt ah you enjoy <laughs> and you drink lots of water please hey, stop eating my my my, my snake huh so now everything is turning into brown so I'm ready now to add my salt. Stop eating my snake. So I'm ready to add my salt. As you can see, everything is brown. My corn, my nuts, they are brown. So get your water. This is my water. And add, this is my salt, add your salt. Uh, add your salt, add your salt, add your salt, add your salt. So mix like this. Mix your water and salt like this. And pour. So mix them like this. You should take them dry. Mm. 
hold them like this until they get dry. Is my salt enough? So, if you want to add chili or any spice, you can add any spice. But I like it with um, salt. I add salt. If you have chilies, you can add chilies, but I like, I like it with salt. I don't like chili. So this is the result. I'm sure I need to add another salt, a pinch of salt for them. To, okay. So yeah, this is it. I don't like too much salt, so I don't put too much salt. So this is it. So after roasting your corn, take your jar. So this is my jar. Take your jar. Put your corn into your jar like this. So I'm done now. This is my snack. This is it. So thank you guys for watching my videos. So don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and comment below. If you know this snack, comment below. So thank you so much. Bye-bye.